what's up and this is Arun and welcome to my channel for inspiration i got so many mails people want to know about how to edit landscape in photoshop cc so here is the tutorial and uh, this is my original uh, this is my final output you can see there uh, i will show you the original one now this is my original image i used photoshop cc to edit this image to this even you can do lot many things with this like you can see here so let's see how to get this type of work with photoshop cc now you can see there i have uh, cr2 images or raw images i have so firstly i will choose which one is better for me to edit like this so this is one image and uh, this is another and this is little bit under expose and uh, if i judge uh, i think this one is the better and this is very close to my midtones so close it right click on there so this is my cr2 image so this is the image uh, i'm in the camera row when you open cr2 image or raw image in the photoshop then it will automatically open in the camera row you can see there so i will do some basic adjustment to this image uh, using this camera raw so this is very underexposed area so i will use this shadow slider to remove the shadows you can see this is before and this is after then we have uh, mm -hmm. now i want to control the highlights we have the slider for highlights just drag it to the minus side here my aim is to balance the exposure of the image not to get the contrast i will work on the contrast in the photoshop rather than the camera raw so little bit i want uh, to more light in the exposure okay this is my basic adjustment uh, finally i will work on this white balance hmm i will try this one as i know the time of this uh, image uh, i have clicked this image um, during the sunset uh, in the sunset uh, we mostly get the reddish and magenta shades in the sky hmm i think this is the better and uh, this is uh, matching with the natural light okay now i want some little bit of clarity and i want to boost some vibrance so that i can achieve the colors very nicely okay uh, if i talk about sharpening uh, it is mandatory that uh, it is the last process you have to do during editing a landscape or any other image so um, i think i'm getting right okay mm. this is my camera profile you can adjust the camera profile okay now i can see there okay this is fine i am getting the very right proper expose for this image now you can see there before after so very nice so click on this open image now you will get this image in the photoshop now this image is available in the photoshop cc now firstly here my image to remove this distraction so make a new layer then then we have the um, spot healing uh, i think you can use this uh, clone stamp tool and uh, when you click there some options are there and uh, go to sample in sample you have to choose this all layers so i will remove this distraction using a new layer and using this stamp tool so it is very easy to do and uh, take a selection and very near by this distraction and uh, you can achieve this by this even you can set the hardness uh 0 or 100 as per your image as per your requirement i want very smooth edge
that's fine okay this is before and this is after i will merge these two layers by pressing control shift alt e now we are on the new layer so then go to adjustment layer i will work for this level you can see there there is a gap between black point and white points i will remove to get the proper light in the image so so this is i want this is very nice now see that you did a big difference this is before and this is after now i want some manual control over the contrast so here is a technique that is called dodging and burning so make a new layer then uh, go to edit then we have this fill and fill you have to fill a 50% gray to this image to this layer so click on okay uh, a 50% gray color will be filled automatically now set its blend mode to overlay you can do the same thing on the layer as well but i want a manual control even you can control the opacity of this layer from here so that's why i'm taking a new image so i mean to say a new layer so here is the technique right click on this doge click on there now next question is where i want the doge suppose the light is coming from i'm sure the light is coming from the left top corner and even you can see the dodge already dodge on the upper part of these stones and uh, in the under part you can see the shadows so i want burn here mm, make a bigger brush uh, even you can control the hardness of this brush i want zero hardness because i want to blend it very nicely so apply this dodge here even you can set the exposure now this is 49 i want uh, something like this uh, 42 41 you can see and just the side i am applying this brush on here now you can see the difference this is before and this is after this is my manual control of contrast to my image even you can apply this I'm using uh, mm, Wacom Intus Pro to do all these things, and it is very easy to do with this Wacom tablet. Now you can see and you can feel the contrast in the image. Very nicely, you can put it here. now you can see the difference before and after now you can see uh, i am increasing contrast and uh, here is the manual way to put contrast to your image very nice now you can feel it you can see it this is before and this is after okay now make a new layer and this time i will work on the black make a new layer go to edit then we have fill fill 50% gray set its blending mode to overlay then right click on this tool and you will get this burn tool i want i want to burn some area because i want some black shades for this even you can set the exposure in this case i am getting this 98% and it's it's better to uh, to get uh, in the low value like 48 now you can see there make it small okay 
already where you are getting the shadows you can apply this burn tool there very nice now see that this is before and this is after we have the manual control of contrast to my image i will show you the original this is my original directly from the camera row this is removing the distraction and uh, this is the layer for merging these two layers this is the level to get the more exposure and this is for the contrast in the white side and this is for the contrast in the black side okay that's fine if you want to uh, put some extra effects like uh, you know, if i want some uh, lens flare you can say this uh, sun flare make a new layer and uh, fill it with black alt backspace now go to filter then render then we have now click on this lens layer this is the lens layer i want to uh, already i'm getting from the left to the right board right bottom uh, even you can increase or decrease the brightness uh, i think uh, this is the this is the sufficient for me so this is my lens layer and you can adjust the brightness from here i want 109 for this now click on okay uh now i'm getting the lens flare and uh, you have to set the blending mode to this screen even you can adjust the position for this i want right from here now i will show you the original this is the original directly from the lightroom and actually this one is the original you can see there this is my original image and this is after editing so in this way you can edit your landscape images using photoshop cc as well as the camera raw i hope uh, you got many ideas from here like dodging burning and manual contrast over there uh, so how you can adjust the contrast for this image uh, this was my burning the layer even you can reduce the opacity for this so in this way you can adjust your contrast for this particular image like this white you can increase or decrease the opacity here this is why i'm calling this the custom or manual contrast for the image so i hope you got the idea how to edit landscape so thank you friends keep watching our inspiration